My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me on the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time to reflect on the Gospel of Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. And the theme is power and authority to do good or evil. I have a number of times been asked, Father, how do I know God's will in my life? My response has been, God has given us everything that we need in our well-being, our happiness, and our salvation. He has given us Jesus as our Savior, who is our surest sign of God's will to love us. He has also made known to us His commandments, which are not difficult to follow, especially the new commandment to love God with our whole heart, our whole mind, and our whole soul, and our neighbour as ourselves. And He has given us the church to teach us what we need to know and believe. Now that's the longer answer. The shorter answer is that God's will is accessible to us when we open our hearts to accept what He offers us his life, love, friendship, and eternal life. At the end of the day, our response to what God offers us is our free will to choose to exercise our power and authority to do good or do evil. This is the very crux of the very actions and deeds of Jesus as seen in today's Gospel, where he casts out the unclean spirit from a man who was possessed. With his power and authority, Jesus would not hesitate to do good to overcome evil. According to St. Basil, the great, in his rules for the monks, he wrote, the definition of sin is this, the misuse of powers given to us by God for doing good, a use contrary to God's commands. On the other hand, the virtue that God asks of us is the use of the same powers based on a good conscience in accordance with God's commands. God's will is that He commands us to love, to love God and neighbour. And this we know to be the first and the greatest commandments as taught by Jesus. And this is the spiritual supercomputer chip of love manufactured by God, and He has embedded it in everyone's heart. Hence, we possess from the first moments of our existence an innate power and ability to love, as St. Basil the Great. It might be easy to hate people and don't like them and write them off, but it is very hard to love uh, people who are difficult and unbearable Yet Jesus did not command us to hate such people. He didn't even command us to like them. He wants us to love them. Perhaps we can exercise our power to love as Jesus does, and with authority to command anyone or thing to be delivered from the grips of evil with these words, Be quiet, come out of him. And with that, I have two questions for reflections. The first is, who is someone I find difficult to love and pray for? The second is, what is Jesus inviting me to do better this year? And with that, join me to pray for peace. Lord God of peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own power, by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness we have experienced, how much blood has been shed, and how many lives have been shattered, and how many hopes have been buried. But our hopes have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts, and give us the courage to say, Never again war. With war, 
everything is lost, instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace, renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother and sister, and our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace, sha'alam. Amen. And so may we continue to do good and avoid evil with the love of Christ. Amen.